Hello, this is Patricia from Pinky's World. Today I'm making a Barber gift shop voucher holder, which I thought would be great for Father's Day or Father's birthdays, brother's birthdays. There's a lot of young lads and older lads who use the barbers now, and it's it's like us going to the hairdressers. We like to get a wee voucher now and again, so I'm going to treat ourselves. So I thought I'd come up with this wee idea. Um, it's just a wee simple flips in, and the wee voucher would fit inside. Now. Every uh, barber shop has a different size voucher, so buy your voucher first and then do your own measurements accordingly. Hopefully this will fit most of them because there's a good width to it and they're usually no longer than that. So for for this week uh, gift card, I have used numerous items. Uh, told you the other day about my tabs for tab circle tab punch and the tabs for everything bunches is what I'm going to use today I had just used this on the side of the wee notepad so I thought I'd do a wee project involving it today I'm also using the tailored punch with the truly tailored stamp set perfect for men I've used it so many times as you know so let's get started the papers I'm using are also from the truly tailored, a true gentleman you called all matches into the truly tailored and I've chosen this design, stripes on one side and the navy on the other. So you first need to do your markings. So this is going to be my outside so I'll mark it on the other side and you just want to score at two inches. Oh sorry I should have told you. The paper itself is three and a half inches wide by seven inches long and you need to score it at two inches and then five and a half inches. And that's all the scoring you need. So just fold those over and mark them with your bone folder. Just get a neat, nice neat fold. Now we'll punch. I have a scrap piece of yellow here and we'll punch it to get the the wee tabs. So we're going to need two of these. So just slide it in, punch, very easy. I'm going to put that away. So on this I stamped, um, as you can see here, enjoy. One stamped enjoy and the other is left blank. So we can fold the blank one up and just put a bit of tape runner on it and we're going to stick this, we need one on the other side, we're going to stick this to the center of the longer flap. So just line it up and keep the tab so that it's hanging out. That should do. Now because we need to um, slip this under, you want to get your pencil and mark the midpoint at either side of that wee tab and just draw yourself a line there so you can see it. And we're going to cut that. With a good sharp blade if you have one. Just a wee slit across and that should be fine. You can rub out your pencil mark if you want to. Mm, can't find my rubber at the middle, so I'll just leave it. So you know that's going to slap inside that. Sometimes it needs a wee help in hand when you're first doing it. Just end that up, slot it in. And that's the, the closure part. So now we need to decorate it. And to do that, <clears throat> excuse me, we just need the one we circle of this. So I'm just going to actually follow this, follow this round and just cut it right into a circle. It's easy enough, just try and do it nice and neatly. Same here. So we only need this one wee bit, and I'm going to, to stamp the the word here enjoy out of the tabs for everything. This is really useful. So many words in it. 
you know, if you're doing wee notepads or just um, on magazines or if you're saving a, a page or going through your catalogue, the new catalogue will be out in June and it's really handy to mark places where, oh, I might get that, I might get that. Crazy. So you want to put the sort of straighter edge down to the bottom, stamp and joy in the navy. And that's it. Still not happy with that wee bit up there. Oh, made right mess that. So because this is going to be holding this tab in, we want to put a wee bit of 3D uh, foam at the bottom there just to hold it in place. So I'm just using one of the wee half slips at the bottom here. You don't even need a full circle for it. I'll just make sure I'm getting that on the right way. So it's at the bottom where the enjoy goes. And that should hold it in place for you. So just line it up with that circle. I have cut that really bad as you can see. But you'll get the jib just when you do it yourself. And that just covers that. Now I didn't like the tab sitting there. So I also cut two strips of paper. One for the band inside and one for the outside to cover that. So I have two wee bits from a band on the inside, so I know this one goes on the outside, and we wanted it to coordinate with the papers we've already used. So the inside, a piece of the DSP left over, it just works perfectly. And I'm going to use my wet glue on this. One. Just a wee slither across. It's purely for decoration, nothing else. So you don't have to do it. If you're, if you're happy enough with your tab, just leave it. Slide that in behind. And we'll open it up under the inside. Just same again, two wee strips, but use the navy side this time. Two wee half pieces of the dimensionals to hold in place and just pop it in the center. And that should do that. Now we need to do the other decorations, which is two of the truly tailored. And to do this, we're going to have to do a bit of stamping. So I have a piece of yellow card inside here. And the stamps that I'm going to use are the, this wee one I thought was cool with the wee comb on the top, just works perfectly for a barber's. And on the inside we use today is your day celebrate and stay. That's it. And we also used a couple of wee stars. So, remove your sticky and line it up where you know your punch is going to fit for you. And just a wee bit of navy ink. The one from Stampin' Up, you call it Night of Navy. I haven't got it yet, but I do have this navy here that I've had for quite a few years. Again, I want it nice and crisp, so I'll just double stamp it. That's that one done. Clean it off. And the other one is this one. And this will fit inside your, your diamond as well. Oops, upside down. Twit. On your navy. I'll just give it another wee go. So that's that bit of stamping done. So we can get this out of the way now. And put your stamps back in your box nice and tidy so you don't lose them. Oops. 
Now you need to get your tailored tailor tag punch and just line it up with this. It just gives you a wee edge in the whole way around, so line it up as carefully as you can. Punch, that's one done. And do the same for this. This has no border, so you just have to do it by eye. That's that one. So this one goes on the front just with a couple of dimensionals. Just put one in the middle. Now it doesn't didn't take much paper and again it uses up a few scraps for you. So you should be pretty happy like I think it's a lovely idea. Give somebody a bar I know have a couple of sons would really enjoy this. This one I think I just put in flat so that it wouldn't disturb any folds. So we'll just add glue to it. A little wet glue. And line it up as well underneath this. Wherever you think is central. Now, I did a stamp wee stars on this and the other one just to take that wee burlick away so we'll do the same again. So that's it. Just get your same wee voucher again, pop it inside, close it up. Now you could stamp something on this wee tab if you want, but I didn't see any point in it, you know, because it's going behind the other one. And there you have it. I didn't cut my circle very well. Do it better. But I hope you liked it. It's a perfect wee gift for brothers, uncles, daddies, anybody who loves to go to the barbers and get treated. And men are just as bad as women nowadays. So thanks for popping by. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back again soon. So if you want to see any more, please subscribe. All details will be on a link below to my blog. And if you haven't got a demonstrator to shop with, I would love to be your demonstrator. Bye.